Talk about truck insurance. Uh, in terms of truck insurance, you got to have it, you know, and that's a cost factor. It, and really there's two, I mean, there's, uh, and within truck insurance, there's two things that most companies that that's going to be required. You have to have general liability insurance mm -hmm. and we won't get into the weeds because we're not insurance people. And we actually have an insurance group, bulk insurance group that handles truck insurance. Um, we'd love for you to check that out. If you're out there starting your business or even have an existing business to quote, but typically you'll have to have general liability. Typically that's around a million could be more than that. Yeah. And then you'll have to have cargo coverage. So the general liability is if you get in an accident, you're covering that people, the cargo, obviously you're covering the, and then the commodity your physical cargo damage inside. and physical damage. Yep. That's and another one. So three components there and even liability split into your general liability per occurrence and your overall aggregate liability, which is most people do for two occurrences. And after that, the, policy is played out and you have to go reinsure if you got two claims pending where it locks up that that liability trove and i actually knew, i knew someone that got in that situation he had one truck he got in an accident uh it was out in california they, they basically locked up his liability pending that the outcome of that claim he had to go to another insurer get a second policy so he could keep operating oh wow so you know, insurance is probably the toughest expense outside of fuel and the driver for a company to manage, and it's it's a tough cookie. You know, you have to do all your homework to get the best rates. You know, these insurers now, and it drives me nuts. I'm not a paperwork person, even though I have to deal with it all the time. and get this encyclopedia thing that I got to fill out, but... That is, that gives the information points for, you know, the agent is trying to sell you to try to get you the best deal possible on your insurance. Without that information, they're flying blind. You're an insurance company. You're insuring somebody out of your pocket, out of your, your uh, customer's pockets, and you don't know anything. What are you going to insure at the max? You're going to insure at the max risk. Yep. Whereas that, you know, the, the information you provide your insurer or, or aspiring insurer is what's going to pull your risk rating down, hopefully. I think that's uh, that's a, what, what we're seeing, especially now that we've gotten involved in more than insurance, is really trying to figure out better ways that companies um, are being safe and not having claims. Because, again, the more claims there are, more insurance pays out, more premiums <laughs> go up. And, again, it's it's we had a, a another an insurance a company in here talking about that a couple episodes ago, but um, it's really trying to make sure you know heaven forbid you have an accident, but like trying to do everything you can to make sure that you're safe. Even the drivers that you're hiring have good and safe records. Yeah, and you know even the unforeseen happens. You know, be it a chain of events, a driver has a medical event. I read an article about a driver at a medical event. Went in the median in Kansas, you know, uh, two farmers actually rescued. I read that, him. yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think I posted that on the, on the, the news median. section, yeah. yeah. So it, insurance, an accident is something not planned, and insurance is protection against something that is not planned because nobody is planning on wrecking their truck normally. Yeah. 